Okay. Hi. So today I'm not really doing any type of how-to tutorial or showing you how to use any software in particular. Just wanted to point out that some things are uh, a little different these days with hard drives. Um, a lot of people may be aware that we can format a drive and recover the data. Some technicians have done it just simply because the drive was hanging up the system and uh, they knew if they formatted it, it would no longer try to mount the old file system and then they would just use data recovery tools to try to get the data back, which is maybe not the best way, but it was a, a workable situation in some instances. So here, I'm just going to demonstrate that, that we have a normal desktop um, two terabyte drive full of data and if we go into a hex editor we can look at the data as it resides on disk and um, we'll just use this as a as a reference point for uh, what we're going to do as we move through the video so here we see the boot sector, NTFS, etc. Um, all the data is there. Um, if we go um, and now close this, and I go into disk management, and I just decide that, let's say this was a drive that was giving me problems or, or whatever the case may be. I wanted to format it and I could just go get my data back. No problem. You can see the data volume is gone. If I go to um, look at my hard drive I'll see that E is a um, blank partition and um, go into WinHex take a look at that drive again and I can see that that partition has got a new boot sector and all the data is still there. And if I wanted to recover this data, I would use tools to go out and recover it. And as long as I hadn't written any new data to it, I would uh, have a pretty fair chance of recovering it all. So again, this is a standard hard drive. It's a desktop drive in a USB enclosure and it uses a traditional um, track recording. Uh, it, now we are going to plug in a new Western Digital. I believe this is an easy store. And I've just dumped some data on this. And that should pop up here in a second. And show me that hey I've got data on here here's my drive it's F you know I've got data in here pictures PDFs etc now I'll go and open this drive and when hex see that the easy store is there and I can see all the data. I'll go to the NTFS boot sector, see that the data is all there. However, should I decide that I want to form this mat to strive for whatever reason, I am going to have a completely different experience. So I'm going to go to my Western Digital Easy Store. I'm going to format it. 
Say yes. Format the drive. Didn't mean to open device manager, but nevertheless, we'll go back to WinHex. And take a look and see what's happened to the drive. So this is the partition F. Got a new boot sector, but it's all zeros. No data. Well, that's the backup boot sector for the new file system but it is completely zeroed out. No recovery, no chance with data recovery software. It is gone, gone, gone. And the reason for that is because newer drives use something called SMR, shingled magnetic recording. And as opposed to having conventional linear tracks, <clears throat> they have shingle tracks. And the reason they've done that is to get rid of wasted space. The read-write element, or actually the write element, writes in a triangular downward code. And that write is about five times as wide as the actual read channel. The read channel is static when it flies over the disk. So what they've done is shingled over the edge of each right. It's, as you can see here, made it look just like you would see maybe a shingled roof or, or whatever, that the rights are overlapping. So, particularly in Western Digital, my passports, easy stores, elements, um, if you format those drives, your data is gone the translator of the drive knows where the data resides. It actually works similarly to NAND data, um, where NAND, the translator, the controller, etc., is going to know where the data resides and they're going to use that to level wearing of the NAND cells to make sure we're just not hitting the same cells over and over and over again. And similar to a solid-state drive um, that uses NAND, when you format that drive, it is gone. Um, the reason for that particularly is to lessen NAND wearing um, and prolong the longevity of the drive. But in addition, when you have a solid-state drive, you can't just write over a write. You have to clear the cell and then write to it. But We've only found that in Western Digital Drives, the external Western Digital Drives, the My Passports, the Easy Stores, etc., um, does the secondary translator, which holds the map to where the data is, um, only in those particular drives does that <coughs> map to the data actually get zeroed. So because it is a magnetic hard drive, you cannot just simply open up a gate like you can in NAND. You would actually have to overwrite the data for the data to be lost forever. But there are ways to recover the data by using physical block access, but it's very difficult because you don't have contiguous data, you don't have any instance or, or knowledge of what was previously allocated as the user data um, on the physical platters of the drive. So long story short is if you have a newer external hard drive, particularly a Western Digital, My Passport, Easy Store, Elements, any external Western Digital drive that's new, relatively new, at last in, at least rather in the last three, four years, if you format that drive, 
you will not be able to get your data back. Although the data still existentially lives there, still resides there, it is almost impossible, not totally, but almost impossible to get the data back from a format or even deleting and then recreating a new partition. So this is more or less just kind of a heads up, not so much a tutorial, just uh, a lot of people are aware that they can format a drive and then recover their data. Um, and we've had instances where they've been presented to us for us to try to recover the data. We have been somewhat successful in some, uh, but that's a very, very difficult proposition to do after a format on a shingled magnetic Western Digital Drive.